South Carolina will face off with their cross-state rival, North Carolina, in their week one season opener. I've got expert analyst Joe Gavassi here with us now to preview the game. And Joe, I've got to tell you, I'm shocked with this number that's so low. Two and a half in favor of South Carolina. North Carolina is way overvalued in this game. I know it's a rivalry, but come on. UNC gave up 39 points on average last season. South Carolina really needs this win on the board playing in such a tough conference as well. And the SEC, I'm definitely siding with the fans. Favorite here, Joe. Well, you got the right side here, Megan, and I'm happy to hear that because I'm joining you from that end of the spectrum. We have two teams who played terribly defensive last year. You mentioned North Carolina, 39 points a game on the defensive side of the ball, but the Gamecocks were equally bad, particularly compared to their previous three seasons when they allowed less than 20 points per game on average. Last year, 30 points per game, and it all started here in this very game. You know, this is the third straight year that South Carolina has kicked off the college football season. Two years ago, they beat this very North Carolina team 27-10. And last year, boy, they just got walloped, allowing more than 50 points and setting the tone for that poor defensive season. Now, Megan, we each like South Carolina in this game, but what do you think about the fact that North Carolina could well qualify as a returning starter team? Uh, I, I do like that, Joe. I was actually going to shift your attention here, too, and look at the – because you're talking about defensive side of the ball. You're talking about how many points these teams are giving up. But the total is extremely high in this game. It's at 65, 65 and a half, depending on what book you're looking at. Do you think that that's something we should consider here, or do you think it's overvalued? Maybe we could play the under. I would be hesitant to play the under here. I think these teams are going to explode offensively in this opening game especially a North Carolina team who behind quarterback Williams has some real potential to put up some offensive numbers. But I don't think that North Carolina has solved all their defensive ills. You know, right. Someone had to take the fall for these defensive last year, and it was the defensive coordinators. All right, Joe, yeah, let's talk about the uh, defensive coordinators. We've got uh, Gene Chizik coming into this game, who I personally like a lot. He's a great coach. He took Auburn to the championship just a few years ago. Do you think he's going to be a big factor in this game? What about the returning starter situation? Uh, could this play into this game as well? Well, actually, the point that you made at the top of our discussion was that there's great value in the South Carolina game. Because as is often the case, Las Vegas, when they send out their lines, overreacts to these returning starters' plays. In this case, I think the value clearly lies with South Carolina. And although I expect both teams' defenses to be improved for the year, I'm not sure that happens in an early season game. Joe Gavassi from winningsportsadvice.com. Thanks again for joining us. Don't forget to check out those links below for more of the top plays to make on college football action this weekend. Keep it locked right here with us at Sportsbook Review.